all for Jesus, all through Mary, all after your example, O Patriarch St. Joseph. Amen. Journey with Joseph, Day 18, Two Holy Families. There are three who give testimony in heaven, and these three are one. And there are three that give testimony on earth, and these three are one. 1 John chapter 5, verse 7 to 8. If you think about it, the first holy family is the Holy Trinity. Today, let us contemplate how the earthly holy family lived in perfect harmony with the heavenly holy family. The holy family of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph is the best analogy of the Holy Trinity, far better than a shamrock or H2O or any other comparison that the mind of man has used to try to glimpse the central mystery of the Christian faith and life. This humble, holy family of Nazareth is the model for all families, not just because Jesus is in it, but because it also has the model of husbands and fathers and model of wives and mothers in it, Joseph and Mary. Jesus, of course, is the perfect child because he is God the Son. The reason there are perfect models of spouses and parents is because they were so in tune with God. Not only did the hearts of Joseph and Mary beat as one, but their hearts also beat as one with God's heart. Because of this foundational fact, all else flows from it. Happy wife, happy life, and happy wife, happy home, it is said. And that's true. But truer is happy Lord, happy life, and happy Lord, happy home. As one preacher put it, Jesus is Lord of all in your life, or he ain't Lord at all in your life. Joseph and Mary made Jesus the Lord of their lives in every aspect. That's the secret to a happy marriage, a happy family, and a happy life. For today's meditation, let's ask ourselves, Lord, what area in my life are you not yet fully Lord? Ponder that for a while. Take your time, close your eyes, pray, then ask the Lord to help you make him truly Lord in your marriage, in your family, in your work, in your hobbies, in your bedroom, everywhere, in your whole life. Then, like Joseph and Mary, may your hearts beat as one with the sacred heart of Jesus. Earthly Shadow of the Heavenly Trinity for 30 years, Christ lived with Mary and Joseph and thus formed a shadow of the heavenly trinity on earth, said John Henry Newman. Oh, the perfection of that sympathy which existed between the three. Not a look of one, but the other two understood, as expressed, better than if expressed in a thousand words. Nay, more than understood, accepted, echoed, corroborated. It was like three instruments absolutely in tune, which all vibrate when one vibrates, and vibrate either one and the same note, or in perfect harmony. Murillo, in the Earthly and Heavenly Trinities, portrays this hidden mystery upon canvas. The Heavenly Trinity above, the Earthly One below, the link being the incarnation of Jesus, truly human, truly God. Considering yesterday's three hearts meditation, let us now climb even higher as we ponder this thought. Two trinities, three hearts that beat as one. Joseph, unlike any man before or after him, lived heaven on earth. He lived with God incarnate, God the Son, the second divine person of the Holy Trinity, Emmanuel, and Mary, Theotokos. The holy home of Nazareth was not just the first domestic church, it was heaven on earth. We need to let this sink in fully, deep into our soul, into our bones. Emmanuel, Joseph lived with him, King of kings and Lord of lords. No wonder he didn't say a word in scripture. Speechless, 
He was constantly in awe of this singular grace no man but him has ever received. While the song, I Can Only Imagine, by Mercy Me, is how we imagine our first day in heaven when we behold the face of God. It was Joseph's life song each day while on earth for almost 30 years. This fact should blow you away. If it doesn't, re-examine your heart and your awe of God. Maybe it's lacking, or you're just comatose. I was, but then it hit me like a ton of bricks. Let the bricks fall upon you again and again. Think back to your greatest God moment of your entire life. Now multiply that by 1,000 times, and you have the daily bread of St. Joseph, the ecstatic father of our Savior. He lived with God the Son, had the Shekinah glory of God the Holy Spirit hovering over their home and hearts, and he had the singular grace of representing, or being like the shadow of, God the Father on earth for Jesus. The face of Joseph must have shone with the radiance of the Son of Justice, far brighter than that of Moses. St. Joseph's work, like that of Our Lady, overflows with transcendence and eternity. What a great lesson for us who so easily let ourselves be led by the desire for personal affirmation and human glory in our work. Joseph's glory was to see Jesus grow in wisdom and age and to serve Our Lady, wrote Javier Lopez Diaz. The example of St. Joseph can help all of us here. His care for the Holy Family and his hours of toil in his workshop were not separate lives, but one single reality. He cared for Mary by working and showed his love for Jesus by his daily effort and a fully coherent life. Pope St. John Paul II says, the family is simultaneously a community made possible by work and the first school of work within the home for every person. God came to mankind through the family. Fittingly, we should go back to God through the family. Learning from Joseph, he had great presence of God because he had living icons of Jesus and Mary in his home. Put icons of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph in your home to help you live better the presence of God and to raise the spiritual temperature of your happy home. Joseph's Ladder of Divine Ascent, 18th Step, Presence of God. Joseph always maintained an awesome presence of God. Ask Jesus through Joseph to have much more presence of God in your life. St. Joseph, always in God's presence, pray for us.